And just like that, it is August 27th, and this short buoy tent season has now come to a close. I'm pulling into the East Mooring Basin to put my boat onto the trailer and head up river to go chase Chinook. This year was a very odd year. It was very strange in the way that we were only able to fish one tide set. We started out with the smallest tide, had growing tides, then falling tides, and now we're back at the smallest tide and we're done. So everything that we learned over the course of uh, that one tide set, we cannot apply to the next. Um, unless, of course, you're coming down here to go target the coho. Um, which, by the way, there are definitely some coho down here, but with a one fish limit, that's that's kind of a hard pill to swallow to come down here and release a bunch of nice, beautiful schnook just to maybe get a coho or two. Today we released some wild coho, kept two nice coho. That's the one good thing. The coho down here this year are actually great quality, really good size coho. But as far as a wrap up for this year, I did more suspend trolling than I've ever done before. In years past, I fished pretty close to the bottom. And that might have something to do with the fact that the water temp is a couple degrees cooler than in years past. Again, it's just conjecture. I'm, I'm shooting from the hip and I think that that might be playing a role in why these fish are not sticking around for four or five days. They're actually just sticking around for two or three days. And that might be why the fishing was not necessarily difficult down here. I mean, heck, it was good fishing. Today we got all of our fish again, once again here today. So we can't complain, really. I mean, heck, this is way better than spring chinook fishing, right? But it was still, we were all hoping to play some more golf and have some guide days out on the water and go catch some fish for ourselves. But we're fishing till three, four o'clock a lot this season. And that's just the way it goes. Um, man, how do you wrap up such a short season? I wasn't able to play around with scent as much as I wanted to. I wasn't able to play around with spinners. I absolutely love fishing spinners. I wasn't able to do that because it was just such a short season and we had to grind it out so much. I didn't want to change what was working. I had a nice little rig set up that was doing well and I did not want to change it one bit because it was working just well enough to get my customers all their fish and send them home happy. And so I did not want to mess with that program. but. Who knows, next year will be a new year. <laughs> but now I'm gonna move on up river and go chase the Chinook up river. Hopefully the bite will be uh, decent enough for us up there. And what I'll probably do here is in the next day or two, once I get my feet wet and get settled in, is do a tutorial on how I'm switching up my gear and transitioning to using a lot of spin fish with fish nip with the 360 flasher. And I'll show my bumper length and my leader length and just kind of the whole setup and how we're doing it, how to prep your fish nip and how to get ready to fish up river because that is pretty much our only option for targeting Chinook for the rest of the month and into September. So uh, I'll be fishing up around uh, St. Helens here the next few days and then on up to Hood River. So thank you everyone for tuning in again this season. It was a short one, it was a weird one, but it was a successful one. All right guys, time to put the boat on the trailer. Thanks for tuning in, later.